Welcome back to SN Studios. In today's report, we're covering a shocking story of international drug smuggling. A drugs gang has been jailed for importing 2.5 million pounds worth of heroin into the UK from Pakistan. Three members of a Luton and Birmingham based gang were sentenced to a combined total of 45 years in prison on August 9th, 2019. These individuals were involved in a sophisticated operation to smuggle Class A drugs into the UK. Sultan Mahmoud Butt was sentenced to 20 years. Nibil Sagir was sentenced to 15 years. Rizwan Ahmed was sentenced to 10 years. The drugs were hidden in everyday items such as motorcycle gloves, equine dentistry tools, and boxing gloves. The National Crime Agency managed to seize 13 packages containing five kilograms of high purity heroin. However, it's estimated that an additional 14 kilograms were successfully smuggled in before the gang was caught. The investigation began in June 2015, when Border Force officers at Stansted Airport seized nearly three kilos of heroin. The drugs were concealed within Cobb elevators, a piece of surgical equipment used for spinal procedures. Sultan Butt was identified as the ringleader, orchestrating the importation of the drugs from Pakistan. Nabil Sagir acted as the middleman, ensuring the drugs were delivered to various addresses across Luton and Birmingham. Rizwan Ahmed and Denise Ellis, who also played key roles, were eventually arrested after parcels destined for their homes were intercepted. The NCA linked Butt's phone number to multiple packages and an analysis of phone records revealed intense communication between Butt and Sagir, particularly during key drug deliveries. For instance, on one occasion, there were 12 calls within a 13-minute period. After their arrests, the evidence against them continued to mount. Denise Ellis, who played a role in receiving the packages, sent a text message after Ahmed's arrest saying, text me when ready to pick up. Best collect it tonight, then I can't get blamed for anything. In September 2017, Ellis pleaded guilty, but Sagir and Ahmed were found guilty in July 2019. Sentencing for Ellis has been delayed. Matt Horn, the NCA Deputy Director for Investigations, stated, Drug trafficking doesn't always happen in one big shipment. This group attempted to smuggle over £2.5 million worth of heroin a little, and often through the post, wrongly thinking they could avoid detection. Working with Border Force and other partners, we are committed to doing all we can to make sure drug smugglers are stopped and ultimately, crime doesn't pay. This case is a stark reminder of the lengths to which criminal organizations will go to smuggle drugs into the country, but also a testament to the relentless efforts of law enforcement to bring them to justice. That's all for today on SN Studios. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest news. Thanks for watching.